hello guys welcome to you my youtube channel so before watching the video please like share and subscribe my videos to get the notification about the new videos right so in this video we will learn how to insert or delete a row and column from the worksheet right insert guys actually right insert a row or delete a row is the most frequently asked question into the interviews so i'm going to write a program how to insert or how to delete row and column from the worksheet right so for this i'm going to write a subroutine which name is insert or delete right so guys first you need to select the seats where you have to perform the task so for this i'm going to declare a one variable which name is sst type of worksheet so now i'm going to set these variables to the worksheet so for this i'm using a current workbook right so i'm using a this workbook and need to select the seat so i'm going to select the seat one you can pass the index value as well one two or three right so i'm passing the name of the seat right so i'm going to first select the rows where i want to insert a row so first i'm selecting the row number six right then select now hmm. selection what insert you already know that what is the selection selection is a matter to select the part which is already select right so now i'm going to write a shift method guys you already know the shift what is it guys when we are going to insert a row so excel would be shifted to the downside right so I'm going to write an Excel down formula. So before execution the program you can see the file where I'm going to insert a row. Right. So, so row would be inserted between row number 5 and 6. Between this and this. Right. Now I'm going to execute the program. The program has, macro has been run. Now you can see the output right a new row has been inserted right so now i'm going to write a program how to delete the row so i'm just commenting this part i want to delete the row number six which i already which i have inserted and i don't want right so i don't want you know just i deleted any row i just want to in delete a row which i inserted newly right so for this selection to delete what need to apply the shift formula excel right so guys when you are deleting a row from the excel so excel would be shifted to the upper side so, so for manage this you have to write that function as well so i'm going to so before execution of the program you can see the seats worksheet right so after the execution this row would be deleted from here all right so now i'm going to execute the program program has been executed now you can see the output right the blank rows has been deleted from here which i was inserted right so the rows inserted and deleted part is completed now i'm going to how to insert a column or how to delete a column right so now i'm commenting this part so for this you need to select the column i'm selecting b column right select right 
let me show you the worksheet guys i want to insert the column between column a and b so, right so i'm selecting the whole column b then insert the column right so new column would be added between a and b column so let's go on the coding video now i'm going to write a code selection dot insert right and again need to apply the same format. guys when we are going to add column into the worksheet so worksheet would be shifted to the right side right right now i'm going to before execution of the program you can see the worksheet right so now i'm going to execute the code by pressing f5 or by clicking on this button so code has been run now you can see the output right so the no the new column has been added right now i'm going to write a code that how to delete a column right now i'm commenting this part guys i want to delete the column t pin code right where you can see the text pin code so now i want to delete this column so you need to select d now you selection apply the delete function and then again apply the save function excel left right guys whenever you delete the column from the worksheet so worksheet would be shifted to the left side right so i'm going to execute so before execution you can see the worksheet right so now after the execution this column would be removed or deleted now i'm going to execute the program code has been run now you can see the output right that column has been removed or deleted from the worksheet so guys that's it for today thanks for the watching and share your comment that how was the video and share your issues or concerns in the comment box thank you bye